Mommy here and welcome to part 2 of my haul. If you haven't already, please watch part 1. You can click on my face to access it. Go on, click it. I won't get mad at you. <laughs> and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. This first piece is from a store in town called Didi's Discounts. I believe it's a sister store to Ross. What I love about it are the lace panels and there's ruffle detailing at the end of it. It's got a little bit of a boxy cut. This next piece is also from Didi's. It's basically a long cardigan with pockets on the front and this hits me around my calf area so I think it's about um, the perfect length for someone petite like me because it's not too thick, it's not um, overwhelming for my frame either. I was in LA a couple weeks ago for the Big Bang concert, well like a month and a half ago I believe, and we decided to stop by Ross. So I ended up picking up this flannel piece. The inside is lined with this awesome furry material that keeps you super warm. It's also got some extra length. Earlier in the week, I stopped by a local store. It's another store kind of like Dee Dee's and Ross where they receive um, a number of items from different stores. A lot of the times, the items are out of season, um, but depending on when you go in there, you might get a good deal sometimes and end up finding something cute like this cropped sweater. Black and white cropped sweater with a different series of design. I just love the print of it. It screams winter at me. I also picked up this burgundy dress. I love that it's got long sleeves because I don't have a lot of long sleeve dresses. I don't think I have any long sleeve dress. Um, it's got woven detailing throughout the entire dress, on the waistline to the skirt. I love that the material isn't too thick so you can still uh, layer it under a coat and you won't be overly warm. The last piece I picked up from there was this pair of super soft and furry PJs. It's been forever since I've picked up a pair of warm PJs for sweats. A couple years ago, I bought a whole bunch of sweats and I was gonna go for the next four to five years apparently. I just never bothered to buy new ones. I was at Target a few days ago and I was browsing through the kids section with my baby sister. I came across this cargo vest. This is a size extra large. It's uh, sleeveless and it's got two sets of pockets on the front with snap buttons. The waist has got a little bit of an elastic detailing here. The last place I stopped by was the mall and on this particular day I believe we went there in the last two hours. Went to a few different stores and just kind of picked out items that caught my eye. One of them was this piece from Aero Pastel. I purposely picked up an extra large because I wanted to wear this as a um, tunic and the sleeves are super long for me but that's okay. I'll make them work somehow. Then I also picked up these pair of high-waisted jeans from Love Culture. They have um, slashes along both sides. I don't have anything like this so I thought I would pick it up for maybe an edgy outfit or something. From there I went to Charlotte Roos. They were having a, a shoe sale that day so I picked up these pair of pointed flats from there specifically for work and you can see it's got a little bit of a quilted texture to it. As the weather starts warming up I won't be able to wear boots to work every day so this will be um, a good addition to my work shoe collection. I also picked up these metallic flats from there. It's got um, some lacy on the front and a little bit of a heel on the back of a half an inch heel. These were on clearance for $2.99 so I definitely had a it in my shopping cart, my imaginary shopping cart. The final pair of shoes that I picked up are these burgundy slash uh, wine colored booties. They've got a three inch heel with a zipper on the inside and an elastic panel on the outside. When I look for boots, I try to look for zippers on the inside just because it makes getting them into them a lot easier. Now these just came in today from Amazon. I had I had placed the order about four weeks ago. Um, it came from China so the timeline is expected. They're just over the knee socks and I've been looking for a pair like this for a while. So I'm just firing up our crackers outside. Can you hear that? Last but not least are two bags that I picked up that I'm super excited about. Normally I just go for the basic um, crossbody bags with the single flap and the 
the uh, magnetic closure just because I like the simplicity of it and the ease of going in and out of it when you need to grab something. But I've been looking for a bucket bag for the longest time and I just love the neutral color palette of this. It's got a zipper pocket on the front. It's a little bit small but it's big enough for you to stick your keys in there. And I also love how the strap and also this part. I'm not sure what this is called but I love that it's not stiff and it slides this part right here slides off and on quite easily. My problem with bucket bags is that I feel like the items that you throw in here sort of just becomes a clump, but I feel like this is quite sturdy because of the shape of the bottom. Lastly is this bag. Um, the original tag was still on there when I picked it up and I think um, it was 72 bucks, but I picked this up for $19.99. I love the um, fur detailing on the front. It's got two snap um, buttons here. And the inside is just a single pocket. And again, I normally go for the um, crossbody bag, so I don't have anything like this. So when I saw this, I called it mine. And that concludes the ginormous haul. I hope you enjoy. Let's do the half dance. If you made it this far through the two parts, thank you for watching through it. If you haven't already, please subscribe down below or you can click on my face again, maybe. Sorry, it's a little bit lengthy. It's probably going to be a while before I do another two-part haul like this, depending on how the shopping goes in the upcoming months. I hope you enjoy and I will see you in my next video. Bye!